Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing, and it will be for the vacant NABA Cruiserweight Championship. Brought to you by United Promotions, along with their great sponsor, Jay Cox Harley Davidson. It is sanctioned by the Office of the Athletic Commission, Commissioner Ken Hayashi, along with the World Boxing Association. President is Gilberto Mendoza. Supervisor tonight in attendance, George Martinez. Our three judges scoring on a 10-point must system will be Harry Davis, Jeremy Hayes, and Kelly Zolmierczak. When the bell rings, our referee in charge will be Rocky Zolmierczak. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Hershey Center here in Mississauga, Ontario, this is our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first, the challenger fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black and red and weighed in at 193 pounds. Coming to us from Toulon, France, he brings a professional record of 15 wins, four defeats, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current French cruiserweight champion, Faisal, the African King, Arami. And his opponent across the ring for this vacant championship. He's fighting out of the red corner and is wearing purple trunks with white trim. His weight, 192 pounds. Hailing from Brampton, Ontario, he is undefeated with nine wins. And five of his nine wins Come by way of knockout, ladies and gentlemen, here is Dangerous, Denton Daly. So can you guys tell who the hometown favorite is in this one? <laughs> Holy, barely, Dangerous, barely. Denton Daly comes into the fan applause. I went over the instructions in the change rooms. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Trunks here are a little high. Over here is good. Over here is good. Touch up. Come up banging. The NABA Cruiserweight Championship is vacant. It won't be after tonight. This should be a very interesting fight. You know, guys, I got to ask you, Rocky Zahirchuk was in the ring when Daly fought Douglas in a little bit of a controversial end to that fight. No part of that should play into anything that goes through the thoughts of the fighter tonight. No, I don't believe so. It's, it was all business, all business. Of course, there's also a Vanderpool connection in this fight. Yep. Dangerous Denton Daly trained by Sid the Jewel Vanderpool once went... 12 rounds, I believe, with Bernard Hopkins. And you can see boxing by Sid on Denton Daly's purple trunks on the back. We nice, look at nice. Faisal Arami, and nice. you know what? He fights in an orthodox position for most of the fight, but has been known to switch to southpaw. And uh, Denton switched a couple of times here, too, already. Faisal has it all. He can brawl, he can adapt, he's polished. It's going to be interesting to see how Daly adapts to how Faisal adapts in this fight because I think that Faisal will prove to be a tough test in terms of his adaptation in this fight. I think that Daly is going to be surprised by how quickly Faisal can adapt to his style. And he just missed with a big, big right hand there. Yeah, he just came over the top, just missing. Daly throws a left. We were, Arami. we were talking about the world-class opponents that Faisal has faced, Mateus Masternak. He fought him in 2010 on one week's notice and went eight rounds. That's pretty impressive. Absolutely. Went the distance with Masternak, who was ranked number eight at the time. And you know what? One of the things that you, you, you look at is the fact that 
again, we talked about Fitz Vanderpool earlier on in the evening that anything you throw at him is nothing new. Faisal came in on a Tuesday, like you said, took an extra day to acclimatize himself. Just connected with a right hand oh. on Daly. Daly pushes him back off into the corner. He's already got marks on his left yeah, shoulder there. That's right, Daly's all business. Daly's all business. He's throwing a couple of big, big, big right hands. And one of them caught him on the shoulder. You know, we talked about this red. fight possibly going 10 rounds. Would you be surprised if it was a very short and quick fight? Well, I'll tell you what, Faisal's been hitting the nose because I believe his nose is bleeding a little bit already. Daily, we talked about being one of the fastest rising boxing prospects, only 35 fights in total, 9-0 as a professional. He learned. He says he learned so much from that Richard Hall fight because he fought a guy like Fitz Vanderpool. We were talking about a guy who's seen it all in the boxing ring, and right. Daily was able to completely dismantle Richard Hall. And right. so he learned a lot in that fight, he says. Nice right hand. Nice right hand over the top there. Time to turn it up, 30 seconds to go. Good combination yeah. from Daly. Backing up Arami, oh. and that does it for the first round. And that's a Daly round. I thought he did enough to take that round. He connected when he had to. Yeah. And that was a good feeling out opening round, and he, and he took the round. Nice job, though, to get away from that right hand coming back from Arami. And, you know, Faisal Arami, we talked about his, uh, his noted power with 10 knockouts in 15 fights. And as you mentioned, Erna, he hasn't fought all that much in the, in the last couple of years, but one of the big things that he can do, or that he has done, is he's in tremendous shape. Look at him. He can, absolutely, you're right. I mean, it's, like the it's not often that Denton Daly is in formidable shape. You can look at him. I mean, he's a chiseled Adonis physique, and it's not often that a guy matches up with him in terms of physique, but Faisal's up there. So now, having said that, Faisal, although he hasn't fought a lot in the last couple of years, the fights he have, has had, they've been against, they've been some big fights. Yeah, absolutely. Denton Daly is already the NABF cruiserweight champion. As we heard in the introductions, Faisal Arami is the French cruiserweight champion. So it's interesting to see two champions in their respective countries face each other here tonight. Daly wearing the purple trimmed in white and silver. Arami in the black trimmed in white and red. Richard, how much does rounds boxed uh, sort of come into play? Faisal has boxed 123 professional rounds, Denton Daly only 41. It's huge, it's an experience in their fighting professional fights, professional rounds that is. But it, you can't take that, you can't buy that kind of experience anywhere. You can see and both guys wary of each other's power and very respectful of each other's skills. And now Faisal was fighting a little bit with his hands up there in the beginning of the round. Now he dropped his hands again. Now he's back up with his hands. Because once he gets caught with the right hand, he's got to respect the power of Denton Daly. And say, you know what, I don't want to get hit that again. Or I don't want to hit flush, flush on. Daly does a nice job to slip that overhand right of Arami. Trying to measure him up. Arami comes back with a couple of laps to come out of the corner. Back to the center of the ring they go. Arami again misses with the right. Daly goes underneath it. Daly's definitely pushing the pace. He's moving yes. forward throughout this entire fight so far. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually kind of surprising. I, I expected uh, Arami to do that. Nice jab by nice jab there by Daly. Rami looked like he loaded up a right, but just couldn't let it pull the trigger. No, because Daly moved out of the way. Yeah, Daly was back. Daly yeah. saw it coming from a long yeah. way away. Rami just landed a jab.
Quick one, two from Daly. Comes in with the jab one more time. Arami circling on the outside. Arami switches again. Daly connects with the right. Looking for that big shot there. Yeah, yeah. They both landed there. Class act from Arami at the end of that round to pull the punch and just hold off as the bell went. I've been hit after the bell, and it, it happens. Yeah. It just happens. Sometimes you just can't stop it. So, second round in the books, and uh, a fairly even second round at that. Both guys connecting when they needed to, but Denton Daly, the busier of the two fighters so far. This is my Ultima. Definitely, Denton Daly setting the pace. Setting the pace. Well, he talked about how important it was for him to fight his game and make sure that anybody he fights, that he dictates the way the fight goes. Which he's doing here tonight, definitely. He knows if it's an up-tempo fight, Arda, he can fight with anybody in the world, or if you want to tone it down and just go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, he can go that way as well. And Denton is, is doing well in pushing the pace, but not to an exhausting point. That's it looks right, like he's, that's he's right. being very calm about yeah. it. And he's, he's listening to his corner. I mean, I'm impressed. Because he knows, because he knows this guy has gone the distance a few times. And, he, you know, if, he, if, I, if, I, if I stop him, if I knock him out, great. If I don't... There's whoa, a big right. Whoa. Connects again. Now he's got that killer instinct. Denton Daly has got Faisal Arami. Backpedaling, now he's connected again. Arami comes back with the right of his own. Daly goes for the uppercut and just misses. You know what, Arami just took a great shot from Daly and came right back. And you know what I'm Very noticing? surprising. Richard, I'm noticing that when he's about to unload a huge shot, you see that wide stance from Daly. The legs are far apart in that. It's almost a signal that he's just gonna unload because his legs were far apart before he landed that bomb. Good footwork there by Daly. Daly's quickly become a master at slipping that big, quick right. Yep, and that's why Buddy's slipping, from, uh, keeps switching. He keeps switching from South Port to Orthodox. And Daly's matching him as well, switching from side yeah. to side as well. In other words, you want to fight Southpaw, I'll match you. You want to fight Orthodox, I'll match you there as well. And a big Daly just landed a nice punch again. Daly over and the again. top. Yeah. I think Daly's definitely proved he's the faster of the two. And Daly's making sure that if a Rami's going to get in tight, he's going to pay the price. Faisal Arami connects with a couple of his own. Daly steps back to the center of the ring. Gets mm -hmm. away from that jab. Yeah. Good defense by Daly. He caught, he caught a caught a couple of shots on the gloves. He might have been caught with one out of three. Once again, Daly going to the body shot. Catching the arm of Faisal Arami. Daly loads up, and he got caught with a right stepping inside. You just feel like one of those combinations is going to land eventually again. Yes. And as the, as the fight goes on, those combinations, when they mean when they mean bad intentions, <laughs> are, are going to take their toll. Daly tries to go over top and just missed that one. A little bit of a smirk on his face as he comes right back. Got a Rami into the corner. Rami misses with the left. Sid Vanderpool calling for a southpaw stance late in that round there. He's yelling southpaw, southpaw. Maybe they're yeah. going to switch it up in the next round. Now, Rami's showing a lot of respect for Denton Daly. He's definitely, he's felt his power there, and he's showing him a lot of respect. Speaking of respect, here's, the, here's some shots. Well, there's the big right. right. The interesting thing on this is Arami took those punches and came right back at Daly. Yeah. yeah. He's 
getting so close there, just glancing blows. But each punch getting closer and closer. And as the fight goes on, fatigue sets in, and one of those punches will land. And then we're going to tell how much of a jaw, how much of a chin Fassel has. He's definitely proven he can take a great shot in that round because he took it right on the button. Well, through three rounds, have you noticed that both fighters wait for the last possible second to get off their stool? Daily. Hey, if I were fighting, I would take every second to sit down too. What was your strategy? Did you say standing <laughs> oh, between rounds? Never. 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 Always I'll, in the stool. I'll sit. I save my, you save your energy for in the ring. That's it. That's <laughs> Daily. my... Shakes off two big rights on Faisal Arami, and Arami says, got more than that, and Daly says, bring it on. I noticed he was between the last and the third. Yeah, good, good, good. He's really using that one, two you, deliberately in this fight. Yeah, and you got to wonder, he's going to have to sooner or later bring more than that double-up jab and an overhand right. Well, because the guy's a southpaw, the one, two is a perfect, a great combination to throw. Daly takes the uppercut from Arami, but he backs away very quickly, knowing Daly was not hurt by that punch. Yeah. Arami's not putting them together. He should be putting some combinations together. Looks like he's got a opening there right yeah right on his his lower, lower lip. lip right yeah looks like a little mouse starting under the right eye as well on Faisal Arami this with that left hook and then tried to catch Daly coming inside afterwards Faisal is also switching stances. He was southpaw there momentarily, went right back to orthodox. Back to southpaw, he's switching instantly almost. How does he's, got, a, he's got a lot of ring savvy, this guy. How does a, for people watching at home, how does, a, how does somebody use the switching of the stance to their advantage, Richard? Well, it, your big punch is normally in orthodox is your right hand and your left hook. You switch it over, can use, get on the outside of his foot, get on the outside of his, uh, Left hand, if that's his jab hand, and you come, you work different angles. But Daly's footwork is so good that he really counteracts that, doesn't he? He really doesn't nice. let Arami come in close to him. Well, he's got, he's got, he's got a great fast jab. It's, it, and it's a stiff jab. It's a stiff, hard jab, and uh, you can see Daly getting more confident as this fight progresses through round right. number four. That's right. We really wanted to take a relaxing trip to... He's wearing him down slowly. And as we said, Daly's always in tremendous shape. I don't think cardio is going to be an issue with Daly at all. No. And, and actually, with Faisal Arami, you're looking at the same sort of thing. He's gone the distance with a top-ranked fighter. It all depends how he came in for this fight. True. Very true. Wait a second. It looks like well, they might be waving off here? the fight. I think the fight might be waved off here. We're seeing... I think the fight's over. I believe his shoulder is dislocated. His right shoulder, his left shoulder his rather, left, is dislocated. His left shoulder is dislocated. That, and that's the shoulder that was all red and bruised. Am I right? And Denton Daly is disappointed, but yes, it is. It definitely is a dislocated shoulder. And his doctor's going to check it out right now. And yeah, he was pointing, you didn't see it on screen, but he was pointing to the audience. My shoulder is off. My shoulder is okay. off. There's nothing worse than... A fighter who came all this distance, was ready to go, got in there and, you know. And have to quit because of an injury. Yeah. Well, Denton Daly goes to 10-0, and 0, but not really the way you would think it would happen. It's not the way any fighter wants to win a fight. 
especially another belt. Right. You want to win it in high fashion. Yeah, much the way Brandon Cook took care of business. Exactly. Exactly. You want it to be memorable. A dislocated left shoulder of Faisal Arami. But a win nonetheless. Makes Denton Daly perfect once again at 10-0. Unable to continue. Having said that, through the first four rounds, I had Daly winning all, all four rounds. I did too. Uh, Pfizer, he was game. He was a game opponent. He was in every. He was in every round, but Denton in every round landed the more telling blows. The number of blows. The number of blows. And yeah, he. Uh, I thought he was pitching a shutout. Ladies and gentlemen, after four completed rounds of boxing, the blue corner is unable to continue due to a shoulder injury. Therefore, our referee in charge, Rocky Zolnirchak, has to stop the contest. Your winner by way of technical knockout, and now the new NABA Cruiserweight Champion, Dangerous Denton Daly. Well, another belt for Dangerous Denton Daly. Amazing. A TKO yes. with a dislocated shoulder of Faisal Arami. Two belts at 10 fights. <laughs> what is in the cards next for Denton? Got to go to the ring. Here's Arthur Ocal. All right, joined here by the winner, Dangerous Denton Daly, still undefeated. Certainly not the way you would want to win, but just tell us the first few rounds, how you felt in here against your opponent. Uh, the first few rounds were, you know, a feel-out round. Wanted to gauge each other's speed and power. I was trying to set him in a couple traps, but he wasn't going for it early. I was starting to make progress, and then this happened. So it is sad that this happens, but um, what can you do? This is boxing. Worse can happen. I just want to thank God that we both can leave the ring in fine health. Um, over the last few years, guys, I'd just like to thank you guys for all your support and coming out. Uh, definitely without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Uh, today, I just want to thank my team. Oh man, you know, uh, dedicate this fight to my my uncle who passed away a few days ago. Um, special dedication for this is for my friend Daryl Wadi. His mother passed away a couple days ago. I told him yesterday that I would not leave this ring without the belt. I got the belt, so this one's for you, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dangerous Denton Daly.